Hello, this is a very short demo on the plugin store dialog. So we have the admin portal here. Make sure your uh, admin and API both are running and success without any errors. So logging in. As we can see, we are successfully logged in. Let's create an organization. Call it. Community church. Add location as New York City. So after this, uh, there will be a dialog appear when this is successfully created. So as we can see, this is successfully created. We can see, uh, we can uh, select the feature that we want to enable for this organization. So clicking this will just disappear this dialog, but clicking here will take us to the plugin store of this organization, which is Brooklyn Church. So clicking on plugin store, as we can see, we are on the plugin store of Brooklyn, Brooklyn Church. And here we can, uh, you know, manipulate the plugins. So yeah. Hello there and welcome back to today's video discussing about this pull request which is adding dialog and updating the plugin store with the latest queries for Intelma admin. As we know that uh, most of the plugin related operations are changed on the server. So there has to be some complementary changes that had to be done on the admin to make it everything work smoothly. So let us start with start. I'll try to explain the entire flow here. So we have the API and the admin code here. So let's start with the API. We will run this application. We'll start the server and the React app. So Okay, so as you can see, the the web app is started and the server is also running. So let me explain you the flow. The web app is started and server is also running, and it is also visible here. So first of all, what is happening? You can see we are pushing the plugin data into the database, and just for the recap, where the data is coming from? This is the plugin data. These uninstalled orgs are just dummy IDs for now. So let's see how it is working overall so entering the login and password in the admin and logging in okay now you can see we are logged in we have different organizations here let us try to create an organization let us call it USA Church community something like that and let's make everything USA. We can select a file as in photo of it. Let's click on create. So after creating the organization, we get this the manage features dialog, which ha I suggested that in the previous video of ex explaining the plugins from basic. So I suggested that we should have this dialog. That's why I added this dialog here. So this dialog suggests that creation successful. Please select the feature that you want to enable for this organization from the plugin store. There are two, uh, now, now user has two uh, ways of to handle it. The preferred way is enable everything. Like user don't want to go into the complicated stuff, but he can click on go to plugin store and that, this will take him to the plugin store of this USA church committee. There he can decide which features he wanted to turn on and which feature should be turned off right clicking on the plugin store now as we can see we are in the USA church committee plugin store and these are the basic plugin features so again for the recap these are features which are not organization wise these are the server features but they are handled as on the base of where they are installed in the org or not for example uh, so yeah so 
before that let me tell you this interface so this is the plugin store most of the things are similar to previous one but some things have to be refactored so the search function works well as we can see if we search for chat it works if we search for post it also works also works with the character matching so <coughs> yeah so as we can see every feature is installed by default now the user can select if you want to remove this item okay so before clicking on this uninstall feature let us go and check a server for a second uh, yeah so this is the get plugins query which will provide us the latest data of the plugins on the server now as we can as we know that these two org ids are basically the default ones so these are just for the example but if i click as we can see this org id please note the number 99565 if i click on uninstall it will be uninstalled as it says this feature has been removed from your organization so after it is removed if i which one was it it was chats so if we where are chats okay chats is right first one so if we see here these are two org ids now if i run this query again these are three org ids now and our pre id 99565 is reflected here now if i install this feature again so now it has been shifted to uninstalled orgs which means this feature has been removed for, from that organization if i click on install again this feature is now enabled and if we run the query again as we can see it has been removed from the list uh this works smoothly we can uninstall or install any features so as we did with the portion events let's run and as you can see it has been added here let's remove uh, let's install it again in the events it should be gone as we can see it is gone on the event side but is still there on the post side so this is the overall idea of the plugin store uh yeah so after that uh, my plan is to you know uh, attach subscriptions in the mobile app which will listen to all these changes and make suitable ui upgrade, update updates accordingly yes so this was about that okay now i'll try to quickly go over the code yeah before yeah before before the code just a minute so before the code you can read these two issues these will explain the uh, more in, uh, insights about the the things that are happening here basically uh, english.json so this is for the new dialogs addition and translation purposes i have changed the mutations to remove this previous values then uh, this is added for the test file as it was absent then i have to remove this previous queries and added replace them with new ones i have added comments on suitable places as well mm. yeah i have also removed some old properties and replaced them with updated ones and this was actually the old code which was a actually so it was in the form of available installed tab like chrome tab it was in the form of that but as we changed it to every plugin is installed by default so th this code was actually no longer needed so that's why i have to remove all of that this was some extra code and these are the uh, css file, css changes for the dialog that i've added and accordingly changes for in the org list file for the appearing of the dialog whenever the organization is created as we can see there are the state variables which is open dialog model which which handles that i'm passing the organization id as like this so to redirect to that plugin store uh, yes that is it for now
this week i just got merged the dialog screen and i've also worked on the uh, Taliban mobile app for the plugin logic uh, which uh, added subscriptions so that is actually working uh, now i've not created a pull request because i'm actually testing those features uh, I, I just need to make sure that the plugins work even if there are two or two or more mobile devices connected to the same server at the same time so it should not create any bugs I, i'm testing for that that's taking a bit of time and i cannot show it right now because you know i need to run all of the three apps at the same time to showcase that i'll share the video and uh, yeah after that i'm I, i'm uh, like after the like after the so after the next of next week i'll be creating the uh, designs for the advertisement panel which is the next part of my project that's correct so yeah that's been the progress okay thanks so sitesh when you have that video ready please let me uh, send it to me so that we can also post it on YouTube. That would be very helpful. Yeah. yeah. Actually, let me I just send, to, you know, uh, let me uh, just yeah. point out that the videos are very helpful, by the way, because um, it allows me to easily just see what you do with the PR without actually having to test certain things for myself. And it makes conversations yeah. like this much run a lot more quickly than they would have otherwise been. Yeah, sure, sure. So I was also th thinking about creating, you know, a step-by-step -step guide about what is plugin and how you can use them. So I would also create that, and I've also, you know, uh, added all of these changes in a fo in a form of a product. Do it's a design document format. So I would also share that document. Okay, that would be really good. And uh, if we can have that design document as a part of the regular Talo documentation, that would also be helpful, so that new people can. Uh, get up to speed yeah I'll quickly. just yeah okay yeah I'll just copy paste that there yeah yes thank you okay. all right anybody else any questions <laughs>